Hi everyone, wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom Unvorach. We read at the end of our parasha that Amalek comes to wage war against the Jewish people. And the Torah tells us where this war took place. It took place in Refidim. Our rabbis tell us that Refidim is a combination of two words. Rifu Yedehim. They weakened their hands from Torah study. Ultimately, what the Torah is telling us is that Amalek fought us because we became lax in the study of Torah. Now, I think we could all agree that Torah is studied with the mind. So why is it phrased, Rifu Yedehim, they weakened their hands? I mean, it's true that some people study with their fingers. But should, wouldn't it have been better to say, Rifu Rosham, they weakened their heads from the study Torah? Why does it say they weakened their hands? And the answer is really found in the first chapter of Perkei Avot. Our rabbis tell us, Lo hamidrash ikar, ela hama'ase. Study is not the main thing. Rather, doing. Of course, studying Torah is very important. It's one of the three pillars that Judaism is based on. But studying of Torah is only great if it leads one to be better. If it leads one to have more respect, to do more. Midrash, studying, is only great if it is leading to ma'aseh. A great philosopher once said that the difference between philosophy and religion is that religion does something about it. And I believe that is what the Torah is trying to tell us. Rifu yedehim. You know, it's not that the Jews didn't learn. Maybe they were learning. But the learning wasn't translating into their hands. It remained in the mind. And really, Judaism ultimately is not a faith of creed, but a faith of deed. And this is why Amalek comes to fight us. You know, Amalek may not be around today, but the mentality still exists. Unfortunately, you speak to people that may say something like, you know, I may not be so observant. I may not do so many things, but in here, I have a great relationship with God. Me and God are very tight. I talk to Him all the time and I love Him very, very much. And that's very nice. It's very beautiful. But we have to remember that unless the love is able to be translated into the hands, into the yadayim, then they still didn't learn the lesson from Refidim. You know, we have coming up Sunday night, the holiday of Tu Bishvat. And Tu Bishvat is the Rosh Hashanah Ilanot. It's the new year for the trees. And our rabbis, the Torah compares man to the tree. And I saw one time a beautiful uh, idea behind this. You know, a tree has different parts to it. It has the roots, it has the trunk, it has the branches, and it has the fruits. Of course, the roots which are hidden are compared to the faith that man has, maybe to the Torah study that we do. When we study Torah, that is something that's done that not everyone can see. That's the faith, that's the love. Love is beautiful and it's needed and the roots of a tree have to be very wide and strong. We need to have a love, a connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But ultimately, the roots are only strong if they also yield fruit, if they bring a beautiful trunk, branches and fruits that provide shade, provide food for the world around them. And that is, I think, the idea of, of Amalek. We can't just let our faith remain faith. Our love, much like the love that a husband has for, the, for his wife. If a husband says to his wife, you know, I love you very much, but the husband's never there for his wife. If the spouse is not there for the other, that love is not worth very much. When we say that we love Hashem, those are strong roots and we need that. But ultimately, they must yield beautiful fruits. May Hashem help us learn Torah this year with our minds and with our hands. Shabbat Shalom.